evening, everybody. We would like to welcome you to our Christmas program, and we are very glad that you are here with us. Our students have practiced very, very hard, and they are excited about sharing this with you tonight. Um, we thank you for remembering to wear your mask while you are inside so that we can make sure we're not sharing any germs with each other. And Miss Samuel will start us off with prayer. How many of you guys are thankful that we get to have a Christmas program this year? Yeah. How many of you are thankful it was after the Warriors game? No, I'm just missing. <laughs> We are so glad that we get to come together to celebrate our king and to remember the reason for the season. Um, so if you guys can just please stand up and join me for prayer. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for being able to come together as a school family and a church family, Lord. We thank you because this year we are able to show um, our families, you know, the reason why we have this Christmas season, Lord. We thank you for the king you gave us on that holy night. And we just ask that your presence be here with us, Mrs. Galloway, our students who have worked very hard, and our AV team as well. We thank you for all the families that are here, and we are thankful for all the families who are watching us as well. Thank you for bringing everyone here to Hilltop, and please be with us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Singing, give it to the girls. Yeah. So uh, after okay. our part, we give it to them. Yeah. All right. And then they give it to us. Okay, you hold it, you hold it, you hold it. No, put it like, put it right here. Oh, this is scary. It's not scary. It's a lot, a lot of people. No, for me it is. Come on, send them, send them. It's a lot scary. There's not a lot of people. Just look at your parents. I don't know where my parents are. Uh, look at someone related. <coughs> um, is it all? Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's all. Is that all? Is that all?
Oh, so many years ago, a donkey wandered to and fro on her way to Bethlehem, carrying his precious load along a dark and lonely road on our way to Bethlehem. In other ways, it was a night like no other, for the events that followed would change the world forever. There were many travelers on the road that cold winter night, as the census had been ordered, and all were encouraged to return to their home villages to be counted. That included Joseph, the carpenter, and his betrothed, the Virgin Mary, heavy laden with child. They were on their way to Bethlehem. Hello, dear neighbors, you're welcome, sir. Especially in this holy night. 
To Bethlehem we all must go, my betrothed with child. And a donkey in a tow. A simple carpenter am I. But God has called us from on high. This message came like a flash from the sun. That she should be God's chosen one. The angel came and I was filled with fright at the awesome message I was born to hear. God will send his son to live on earth. So we all await this wondrous birth. It's true, it's true. I was filled with fright. It happened like this one marvelous night. Imagine, you're traveling a dark road on a cold winter night, unsure of any immediate plans. But you are positive of the momentous future that lies ahead for you and the child you carry, the child of God. Imagine the anxiety Mary and Joseph must have felt as they traveled that road on, road on their way to Bethlehem. Imagine the frustration the innkeeper felt to be overrun with guests desperate to find shelter from the cold winter night. Imagine. People were coming from everywhere to stay at our hotel. I had no rooms available to rent to let to stay. We have no room available at, or space at, to stay. All we have to provide is our stable.
Years later, the child born that night in a stable would stand on a hillside and proclaim that the meek shall inherit the earth. It was the meek who first heard the good news, the good news of Jesus' birth, the good news that we continue to celebrate today as we walk our own roads to Bethlehem. On our own roads to salvation. Is the meek among the first to hear the good news of Jesus first, as the shepherds were keeping watch over the flocks in the near path on the, on the way to Bethlehem. Look, look over the, look, uh, uh, look over the back of my sky, over the, uh, look over the back of the lamb sky, in the east. What does it mean? What does it tell? What does it signify? All right, we'd like to have you sing with us. We're going to sing Hark the Herald Angels Sing and Angels We Have Heard on High. Wait up, shepherds, we're coming too. Look, we're all in a row. Well, hurry up then. We don't go all night. A savior is born today. We're ready to go. We won't slow you down. Three cheers. I mean, bah. Thank you. 
Three queens, we come from the east, we will journey fast and far. By camelback, we'll travel for years, following yonder star. Some might say and quite be right, we're not in the Christmas story. But look at our costumes and give us a break, allow us and you will not be sorry. Oh, my seventh and eighth graders, please. Oh, my God. Don't forget your chimes. Come find your spots. Miss Hillary, can you check and see if the F chime is outside? Because it was on the table and it disappeared, and we need it. Miss Hillary, <laughs> outside.
And you better look out because here they come. Move to the side if you're standing still or pick up your paste if you're able. Go wait. Now just a minute. What is all this? Now just hold everything. You can't expect to go along to see the newborn king. Back off, Gaspar. Balthazar too. We don't have time to bicker. Come along with us if you know what's best, and you'll get there and back much quicker. But we have precious gifts with us, gifts that are right for a king. And you have a bunch of animals. What can you possibly bring? cock a doodle doo I see your point. We may not have a lot. But what are we supposed to do? We are bringing all we've got. Now, just a moment. That's not right. We're not insensitive. Come with us to Bethlehem. We all have much to give. Tender wool to rest your head An angel wool 
As Christians, we travel a well-worn path that leads us toward la life everlasting. Our paths were started by the sandaled feet of a humble carpenter and the hooves of a gentle donkey that carried the mother of Jesus. Are you on the way to Bethlehem too? Mr. Ricky, we're going to sing just the joy to the world part of the next song. Come on, guys, let's hear it for the kids, right?
I gotta do one thing because she's not gonna be around. Where's Layla? Where you at, girl? Where? Raise your hand. Where you at, Layla? A. Hey, Layla A. Hey. Come on, what Layla? Where's Layla A? Hey. Girl, come here. Come here, little chicken. <laughs> so good to see you. We are unfortunate enough to not have Layla with us anymore, but she came all the way over just to do this Christmas program for all of you. Can we hear it? I love you. Thank you. Good job. Now, the queen of the hour, the fearless leader of our teachers. Not only did she do this single-handedly, okay? Music teachers, normally they're music. They teach music. But not only was she all on her own with all pre-kindergarten through eighth. Kindergarten through eighth. She also gave us teachers, amen, can we say amen, a little half hour every day, yeah, amen, right? Amen. Okay, and she did such a phenomenal, outstanding, wonderful job, our fearless leader, Principal Melissa Galloway. Come up here. <laughs> so, we want to give you flowers. Now, Hilltop, what you do is you guys stand up. Seven and eight, stand up. All right. So, girls, if you want to do a little curtsy or just put your hand like this, give a bow to your fearless leader. Give a bow to the music director, <laughs> Mrs. Galloway. Give a little bow. Good job. All right, all right, go ahead and sit back down, sit back down. Thank you so much. All right, it was wonderful, right? It was wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much for coming. So we are going to end the program with prayer. So Hilltop, if you can just bow your heads, we're going to have closing prayer. All right, if you could bow your heads. Hilltop, quiet. Thank you. Our most heavenly and gracious Father, I know you are just screaming at the top of your lungs with the angels, just rejoicing. There is nothing, nothing greater than hearing kids sing. Nothing greater than hearing kids rejoice your name. We want to thank the families for coming out. Right now, we're tired of hear hearing all about, you know, on the news, everything about COVID. So with us being here, it is so wonderful to all be here together to celebrate each and every student here. They did such a phenomenal job. It is not easy being up front here. So we just want to say thank you for giving, giving them the courage. Thank you for keeping every single family member on the road safely. Uh, and saying thank you that we have the AV team to be able to live stream this for any family member that is not able to make it here. Um, you know, because unfortunately, we are not able to bring everybody here. So just thank you so much for such a wonderful evening. We want to just be with them as they go home, be with them the rest of this week as we're getting ready for Christmas break. And just anything that they have going on uh, during their break, just keep them safe. Um, and just from all of us, we cannot be more thankful and more grateful just to have such an incredible, incredible Hilltop uh, family here this evening. So thank you so much. So may the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable and pleasing in your sight, our God, our strength, our Redeemer. Amen. Amen. All right, third and fourth grade, if you want to get up and go and find your mom and dad, please. And fifth and sixth grade, if you want to go down that way, please go find your parents. And parents of our students in kindergarten, first and second, if you wouldn't mind coming up to your teacher and telling them so that they can hand your child to you.